What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a high-level, interpreted programming language primarily used for web development. It allows developers to add interactivity and dynamic content to websites. JavaScript was created by Brandon Ike at Netscape in 1995 and has since become one of the most popular and widely used programming languages on the web. Key features of JavaScript include Client-side scripting, JavaScript is mainly executed in a web browser, making it a client-side scripting language. It can manipulate the document object model, DOM, of a web page, enabling developers to dynamically modify the content and appearance of the page without requiring a page refresh. Interactivity, JavaScript enables the creation of interactive elements on web pages, such as buttons, forms, and multimedia. It can respond to user actions like clicks, key presses, and mouse movements, allowing for a more engaging user experience. Cross-platform compatibility, JavaScript is supported by all major web browsers, making it a cross-platform language that works on various devices and operating systems. Lightweight and easy to learn, JavaScript is a lightweight language with a syntax that is relatively easy to understand and learn, especially for developers who are already familiar with other programming languages. Asynchronous programming, JavaScript supports asynchronous programming through mechanisms like callbacks, promises, and async slash await, allowing developers to handle tasks that may take time to complete, such as fetching data from servers or handling user input. Versatility, in addition to web development, JavaScript has expanded its reach into various areas, including server-side programming, Node.js, mobile app development, React Native, Ionic, and even desktop applications, Electron. It's important to note that JavaScript should not be confused with Java. Despite the similar name, they are different languages with different purposes and syntax. JavaScript is specific to web development, while Java is a general-purpose programming language used for a wide range of applications. Could you give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to learn JavaScript? Certainly. Learning JavaScript can be a rewarding experience. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you get started. Step 1. Set goals and expectations. Determine why you want to learn JavaScript and what you aim to achieve. This could be building interactive websites, web applications, or getting into front-end development. Step 2. Learn the basics of web development. Familiarize yourself with HTML and CSS as they are the foundational technologies of web development. Understanding how to structure web pages and style them will complement your JavaScript knowledge. Step 3. Get comfortable with JavaScript syntax. Start by learning the basic syntax of JavaScript, variables, data types, operators, functions, conditionals, loops, and objects. There are many online tutorials and interactive platforms available that can teach you these fundamentals. Step 4. Study the DOM, document object model. The DOM is crucial for interacting with web pages using JavaScript. Learn how to manipulate the DOM to dynamically change the content and appearance of web pages. Step 5. Work with browser developer tools. Familiarize yourself with the developer tools available in web browsers. These tools help you debug and inspect JavaScript code, understand how the DOM changes, and analyze network requests. Step 6. Practice regularly. Practice is key to mastering JavaScript. Start with small coding exercises, and gradually build more complex projects as you gain confidence. You can find coding challenges on websites like Code Academy, Free Code Camp, and LeetCode. Step 7. Learn from projects and tutorials. Work on real-world projects or follow tutorials to apply your knowledge. Building projects will deepen your understanding of JavaScript and how it fits into web development. Step 8. Join online coding communities. Engage with the coding community on platforms like GitHub, Stack Overflow, and Reddit. Asking questions and helping others will enhance your learning experience. Step 9. Explore modern JavaScript concepts. Stay updated with the latest trends and features in JavaScript, such as ES6, ECMAScript 6, and beyond. Learn about arrow functions, classes, modules, promises, async slash await, and other advanced topics. Step 10. Experiment with frameworks and libraries. Once you have a solid grasp of JavaScript, consider learning popular JavaScript frameworks and libraries like React, Vue.js, or Angular. These tools will help you build more powerful and efficient web applications. Step 11. Build a portfolio. Showcase your projects on a personal website or GitHub portfolio. Having a portfolio will be valuable when applying for jobs or freelance opportunities. Step 12. Never stop learning. JavaScript is a vast language with constant updates and improvements. Keep exploring new concepts, attending webinars, and participating in online courses to stay up to date with the latest developments. Remember, learning JavaScript takes time and dedication. Be patient with yourself, and don't be afraid to make mistakes along the way. Practice regularly, and you'll gradually become proficient in JavaScript development. Could you explain the basics of JavaScript for beginners? Of course. Let's go through the basics of JavaScript for beginners. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a high-level, interpreted programming language that adds interactivity and dynamic content to web pages. It runs in web browsers, allowing you to create interactive elements, handle user events, and modify the content and appearance of web pages in real-time. Variables and data types. In JavaScript, you use variables to store and manipulate data. Variables are declared using the var, let, or const keyword. Here's an example. Set var age equals 25, slash slash var age 25 is a number. Set let name equals john, slash slash let variable name john is a string. Set const pi equals 3.14, slash slash constant, is a variable cannot be reassigned. JavaScript has various data types, including numbers, strings, booleans, arrays, objects, and more. Operators. JavaScript supports various operators for performing operations on variables and values. Common operators include arithmetic operators, plus, dash, asterisk, slash, comparison operators, equals equals, 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 and logical operators, and and. Functions. Functions in JavaScript allow you to group a set of statements together and execute them when called. Functions can take parameters, inputs, and return values, outputs. Here's a simple function. Function greet, name. Return hello, plus name plus. Let greeting equals greet, Alice. Console.log, greeting, slash slash output, hello, Alice. Conditional statements. Conditional statements help you make decisions in your code. You can use if, else if, and else to execute different code blocks based on specific conditions. Let number equals 10. If, number 0. Console.log, positive. Else if, number 0. Console.log, negative. Else. Console.log, 0. Loops. 
Loops allow you to repeat a block of code multiple times. Two common types of loops are for and while loops. Slash slash example of a for loop. For, let i equals 1, i equals 5, i plus plus. Console.log, i, slash slash output, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slash slash example of a while loop. Let count equals 0. While, count 3. Console.log, hello. Count plus plus. Slash slash example of a for loop. For, let i equals 1, i equals 5, i plus plus. Console.log, i, slash slash output, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slash slash example of a while loop. Let count equals 0. While, count 3. Console.log, hello. Count plus plus. Arrays. Arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable. You can access elements in an array using their index, starting from 0. Let colors equals red, green, blue. Console.log, colors 0, slash slash output, red. Console.log, colors dot length, slash slash output, 3. Let colors equals red, green, blue. Console.log, colors 0, slash slash output, red. Console.log, colors dot length, slash slash output, 3. Let person equals. Name, Alice. Age, 30. Is student, true. Console.log, person.name, slash slash output, Alice. DOM manipulation. With JavaScript, you can interact with the document object model, DOM, to modify HTML elements dynamically. For example, changing text, styles, or adding slash removing elements. These are the foundational concepts of JavaScript for beginners. As you progress, you'll learn more advanced topics, such as asynchronous programming, functions as first-class citizens, and modern ES6 syntax. Remember to practice regularly and build small projects to reinforce your learning. How do you explain JavaScript to 10 years old kid? Hey there, young coder. JavaScript is like magic for websites. You know how we can make a picture or a toy move when we touch it? Well, JavaScript helps us do similar fun things on websites. Imagine a website as a big, colorful book full of stories and pictures. JavaScript is like a special pencil that allows us to draw on that book, change the colors, and even make the pictures move. With JavaScript, we can make buttons that change colors when we click them, show funny messages when we move the mouse, and even play games right on the website. It's like giving superpowers to a website, making it more interactive and exciting. So, the next time you visit a fun website or play a cool game online, just remember that it's the magic of JavaScript that's making it all happen. Can you provide me with some exercises to practice JavaScript? Absolutely. Here are some JavaScript exercises to practice your skills. Exercise 1, Hello, World. Write a function that takes a name as input and returns a greeting message. For example, if the name is Alice, the function should return Hello, Alice. Exercise 2, Sum of Array. Write a function that takes an array of numbers as input and returns the sum of all the numbers in the array. Exercise 3, Palindrome Checker. Write a function that takes a word as input and checks if it's a palindrome, reads the same backward as forward. Return true if it's a palindrome, and false otherwise. Exercise 4, FizzBuzz. Write a function that prints numbers from 1 to 100. But for multiples of 3, print fizz instead of the number, and for multiples of 5, print buzz. For numbers that are multiples of both 3 and 5, print fizzbuzz. Exercise 5, find the largest number. Write a function that takes an array of numbers as input and returns the largest number in the array. Exercise 6, reverse array. Write a function that takes an array as input and returns a new array with the elements in reverse order. For example, if the input is 1, 2, 3, the function should return 3, 2, 1. Exercise 7, capitalize words. Write a function that takes a sentence as input and returns the sentence with the first letter of each word capitalized. For example, if the input is hello world, the function should return hello world. Exercise 8, object manipulation. Create an object representing a person with properties like name, age, and hobby. Write a function that takes the person object as input and prints out a sentence describing the person. For example, if the person object is name, Alice, age, 25, hobby, reading, the function should print Alice is 25 years old and enjoys reading. Exercise 9, filter even numbers. Write a function that takes an array of numbers as input and returns a new array containing only the even numbers. Exercise 10, check prime number. Write a function that takes a number as input and checks if it's a prime number, divisible only by one and itself. Return true if it's prime, and false otherwise. Feel free to try these exercises one by one. If you get stuck, don't worry. That's a part of the learning process. You can always refer to online resources or ask for help to understand the solutions. Happy coding. Can you create a quiz on JavaScript with 10 questions? Sure, here's a JavaScript quiz with 10 questions. What is the correct way to declare a variable in JavaScript? A. Variable x. B. Var x. C. Vx. D. Const x. What will be the result of the following expression, 5 plus 5? A. 10. B. 55. C. 10. D. 55. Which of the following is not a primitive data type in JavaScript? A. String. B. Boolean. C. Object. D. Number. What does the equals 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 operator do in JavaScript? A. Assigns a value to a variable. B. Compares the values and types of two variables. C. Checks if a variable is undefined. D. Performs a logical and operation. Which of the following is used to add a comment in JavaScript? A. Slash slash this is a comment. B. Dash this is a comment dash. C. Hashtag this is a comment. D. Slash asterisk this is a comment asterisk slash. What keyword is used to create a function in JavaScript? A. Function. B. Def. C. Fun. D. Void. How do you access the length of an array called myarray in JavaScript? A. Myarray.length. B. Myarray.len. C. Length. Myarray. D. Len. Myarray. What is the output of console.log, type of null? A. Undefined. B. Object. C. Null. D. String. What is the correct syntax to add an element to the end of an array in JavaScript? A. Array.add, element. B. Array.push, element. C. Array.insert, element. 
D, array.end, element. What is the purpose of the query selector method in JavaScript? A, to select and manipulate DOM elements. B, to select the first element of an array. C, to query the server for data. D, to define a new variable. Answers. B, var x. B, 55. C, object. B, compares the values and types of two variables. A, slash slash this is a comment. A, function. A, my array dot length. B, object. B, array dot push, element. A, to select and manipulate DOM elements. Feel free to try the quiz and see how well you do. If you're unsure about any of the answers, don't hesitate to learn more and improve your JavaScript knowledge. Happy quizzing. Can you provide additional resources for me to learn JavaScript? Absolutely. Here are some additional resources to help you learn JavaScript. MDN Web Docs, JavaScript Guide. MDN, Mozilla Developer Network, provides comprehensive and reliable documentation on JavaScript. Their JavaScript guide covers everything from basic syntax to advanced topics. It's an excellent resource for learners of all levels. Link, https colon slash slash developer.mozilla.org slash and hyphen us slash docs slash web slash javascript slash guide. Free Code Camp. Free Code Camp offers a free interactive curriculum for learning web development, including JavaScript. They have hands-on exercises and projects that will help you practice and apply your knowledge. Link, https colon slash slash www.freecodecamp.org. JavaScript.info. JavaScript.info is a well-structured and beginner-friendly resource to learn JavaScript. It covers the language in depth and provides interactive examples to solidify your understanding. Link, https colon slash slash javascript.info. Eloquent JavaScript. Eloquent JavaScript is a popular book by Marijan Haberbeck that covers JavaScript concepts in an engaging and easy-to-understand manner. The book is available online for free, and you can also purchase a print version if you prefer. Link, https colon slash slash eloquentjavascript.net. JavaScript 30. JavaScript 30 is a free 30-day coding challenge by Westboss, where you build 30 small projects using JavaScript. It's a fantastic way to practice and experiment with JavaScript in real-world scenarios. Link, https colon slash slash javascript30.com. YouTube Tutorials. There are numerous YouTube channels that offer JavaScript tutorials and coding exercises. Some popular channels include Traversy Media, The Net Ninja, and Programming with Mosh. Code Academy, Learn JavaScript. Code Academy provides interactive courses for learning JavaScript. It's a great option for hands-on learners who prefer a more interactive approach to learning. Link, https colon slash slash www.codeacademy.com slash learn slash introduction hyphen to hyphen JavaScript. Jace Fiddle and Code Pen. Jace Fiddle, https colon slash slash jsfiddle.net, and Code Pen, https colon slash slash codepen.io, are online code editors where you can experiment with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in real time. They are perfect for testing and sharing your code. JavaScript Reddit Community. Join the JavaScript subreddit, r slash JavaScript, to engage with the JavaScript community, ask questions, and find helpful resources and discussions. Link, https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash JavaScript. Remember, consistent practice and building projects will reinforce your learning. Don't be afraid to explore and experiment with code. As you progress, you'll gain confidence and proficiency in JavaScript. Happy coding!